Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nijisa. So today I want to talk about something that I've always been bragging about on my stream, right? So I always felt like the dev team didn't put enough effort into like working on Anna's uh, gameplay, her moves and stuff like that, right? That's what I thought, right? Because I always initially thought that why all these animation looks like the ones from Tekken 1, right? It's been 30 years, almost 30 years. The game came out in 1994, now we're in 2023. So next year is going to be their 30th anniversary, right? Tekken 1, Anna was also in the game. And I'm going to show you guys a bunch of these uh, moves. And the animation are very similar still in Tekken 7. But just make sure you guys understand that uh, I do think that maybe the dev team does believe that these animation looks good and that's why they kept the animation and it's not that they just didn't want to work on the animation and change it a little bit maybe they really like the animation you know but one thing I would say is that I felt personally that the dev team did put more budget on working on Anna's uh, aesthetics I guess would be the word right like they try to give her like there was a lot of artists that they hired probably and uh, to make extra costume for her throughout her entries right as you guys have seen in the past Tekken 7 was one of those that they didn't care enough right they didn't even want Anna in the game right but if you think about Tekken 3 she had an extra costume you think about like uh, Tekken 5 she has an extra costume 6 extra costume even if they were very similar right uh, tag 2 she had an extra costume but the point isn't that you know my point is that um they they the money that they're putting in to the wrong spot they didn't really want to fill the voids of like working on animation trying to fix the character to make it uh, more appealing and stuff like that right instead they thought oh if we just add a few costumes maybe you know we can get some random people to come in but my point is let's take a look at the uh, old animations and I'm just gonna explain to you how similar they are to the Tekken 7 and then we will go through them okay so let's take a look at them so that is Tekken 1 can opener okay this is Tekken 7 can opener Notice how it's very similar. And then you got Nina here, you know, who has a can opener as well. But you clearly can see they have changed her initial hop up 4-4, four, four, right? Uh, yeah. My point here is they clearly put an effort into working with Nina's character design in terms of the animations and stuff like that, right? But left Anna's more or less the same okay you have the flip kick um, you also have the high flip kick so let's take a quick look at that in Tekken 7 I will say to you guys that uh, these flip kicks definitely look like they've been reworked um, so I'm not complaining too much but the fact that the, the fact that they're still there, I mean, I guess it has something to do with legaciness, right? Okay, so now you got the full crouch sweep, the full crouch four two, and the full crouch four one. They look kind of similar, but I do feel they had been uh, a little bit of um, patched up, right? They they look a little bit nicer. Definitely 4-2 looks nicer. Uh, down 4-2 still kind of looks the same. And 4-1 still kind of looks the same. But I'll give them credit that they did do a better job with that particular animation. Those particular animations than some of the other ones, right? Down 4-3-2. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the full string here. So down 4-3-2-3. Three, three. So... And there's also the down four, three, two, four. Okay, so keep those uh, in mind. You guys could clearly tell that down four, three has been reanimated, which I appreciate that. 
However, if you look at the other options, they kind of look very similar, right? Like I said, maybe they like the animation. Maybe it looks good, right? Uh, definitely this down four, three, three, two, three still looks very similar to Tekken one's version, right? But you know, I guess they did some work there, right? Next, we got down four, one, two, three, down four, one, two, four. And running three, okay? So we'll just go ahead and look at those three. Uh, you guys clearly know down four, one, two, three has been adjusted completely. The animation looks completely different. Uh, and down four, one, two, four, completely different. That's a good thing. That's what I want them to do. This was the kind of small stuff that they could have been doing. But instead, they didn't really work on it like that. Yeah, and then you got the famous running three. That still looks very similar to the running three 30 years ago. Uh, yeah. Let's just kind of watch this running three again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh... Uh, four, four, one plus two. Obviously, for those of you guys that knows, Anna's four, four, one plus two definitely has been revamped, which is a good thing. But let's go ahead and watch some of the other options that I'm going to show here. Magic four and down three. Okay, so magic four still is magic four. I mean, I think the animation definitely looks different. Uh. Down three, everybody's down three seems to be the same. Anna does look a little bit different. She has that ugly, like, floppy hands. Um, and the four, one plus two, they did a good job. I appreciate that they did change this, even though they made it worse, but it's okay. It's, let me just phrase it this way. Anna's for four, one plus two is actually like not even that good compared to Nina's for four, one plus two, right? If you think about it, obviously the four one plus two is worse than Nina's four one plus two. This move is minus eighteen, doesn't push back, and doesn't do anything. Nina's at least, you know, minus fourteen, uh, power crush, and uh, yeah, that's it. But still, uh, the cool thing is they did change the animation though, right? Okay, let's move on to the next one. My point there is sometimes when they change stuff, it could go for worse. And sometimes when they don't change stuff, it is better, right? And in that case, I like the animation, but the frame property and the hitbox sucks ass. So, yeah. Okay, so... So we have the down four, three, three, three 3 strings. As you guys already know... The initial start off of down four three does look different, and the down four three 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 one is different, and the down four three three two doesn't even exist anymore, right? Okay, let's go ahead and look at them. So, down four three 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 one now looks like this, which is actually a good thing. Down four three 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 four still looks the same as it was. And there's no longer a down four three 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 two, which they took it out, which it's fine. But I don't understand why they couldn't at least just like change it to something else. So next, we got the standard chain throw. So this one was one of the ones that I've been complaining about for a long time, right? Just look at this animation. Just look at that animation. I want to show you guys why I don't like the, that, the animation, right? First of all, I understand that it doesn't look good. Most people probably agree with me that animation doesn't look good, right? And I'm pretty sure the dev team feel the same way, right? But this animation has been in the game since Tekken 1, and she still has this animation. The reason why I say that this animation doesn't look good because look what they gave Nina instead. Nina used to have that animation, but because they want to put the budget in and they want to fix Aunt Nina, they didn't care about Anna that much. 
Look at the difference between these two animations. Boom. Like it's the same move. The same input and everything. The same damage. But clearly, uh, Nina's version seems far more worked on than uh, Anna's version, right? <clears throat> Next, uh, you guys already know this. These old Tekken 1 throws, Anna no longer has them. Doesn't really mean anything. It just kind of means that, yeah. Uh, oh, and then the 2-4 and the 2-3. I'll show you guys that later after this. Uh, and then that's the throw, right? So, okay. So, just to show you guys, obviously, 1 plus 3 throw now looks like this. Which I could care less. It's okay, it's great, yeah, 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 right? It doesn't matter too much. I'm glad they changed the animation. Uh, as far as um, damage goes, as far as uh, positioning or anything like uh, breaks and stuff like that, there's nothing different, right? It's the same shit, right? Break 1 or 2 throw. I am break with a 1 or a 2 break for both and you basically don't really change much difference in position and stuff like that, right? Uh, her 2-4 remains the same. Her 2-3 obviously is big buff. This is actually something I really like with the 2-3 that they change, right? That's what they should be doing with her more. Making her have stuff like 2-3, right? That's a big deal, you know? Okay. So, we're coming to a close here, and the rest is just these really old um, chain throw that Anna still seems to have in her animations that never really changed the uh, animation. Let's just look at the foo here. I think I'm gonna throw a foo one out here. Boom. 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 Yeah. So, that's that right there, guys. So, that's the last animation that we're gonna look at and obviously she has other chain throws but just look at this animation like I always say this earlier right you might like the animation they might like the animation it might look good but the crazy thing about it is it feels exactly look at the motion I mean I guess they either did a good job with the animation and they really liked it or you know, they just didn't want to work hard on it and just say, hey, let's keep the animation exact. I mean, let's just, I mean, the animation is already there. Let's just use it. That's how it feels, right? Yeah. The, the, the speed of the animation even looks the same to me. Yeah. So, that's pretty much going to close out this video. I just wanted to say this because I always felt like the budget they use on working with Anna is far less than any other character in the game. As a character that's been in the game for 30 years, like it's insane that you can be a character that they spend less budget on than characters that's just brand new to the game, you know? That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, and I'm out.